So how you doing? Hey, today I'm gonna show you my ugly iron horse muffler that I built. Uh, I made the repairs to it. So you know, the repairs are done, but she's still ugly. I'm gonna show it to you and you guys can laugh at me all you want because you know what? I'm gonna leave it ugly like this. I could get in here and grind at it and smooth it all out and make it look pretty, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna leave it exactly as is just because it'll be a good conversation piece. You know what I mean? So let me show you this muffler and I'm gonna talk about it and kind of explain how it works so well. And uh, you know, it's something I think I'm gonna to need to utilize more often. I did not realize how much of a difference this would make. And it made a pretty substantial difference. So yeah, let me show you guys what I'm talking about and let's get on with this, alrighty. To talk about this iron horse style muffler and i want to talk kind of tell you what's going on and how it works and why they give you such a performance increase these would actually perform better than any modified muffler uh, any modified factory muffler i should say um, you see there's a reason um, so a lot of people think of you know getting mufflers work and everything and if you look it up online about two-stroke mufflers, they're going to give you something like this here. So there it is. Uh, yeah, you go looking online, talking about two-stroke exhaust systems. This is what you're going to see. These function completely different. These use a sonic wave that comes in from the exhaust, shoots down through. This part here creates a suction to suck your exhaust gases out. Comes up, it hits this, some of it bounces back into the engine, shoving a whole bunch of air back into the engine right at the right time, pushes your compression up, you know what I mean? And uh, it, it basically gives you a whole lot more power just by using, you know, the exhaust system. Um, the thing about these is they have to be timed or designed exactly right for the engine. If you get them off, they won't help you much. Um, in fact, if you're trying to install a dirt bike style one on a chainsaw and you find it doesn't give you a whole lot more performance increase, chances are it's because something about the design is off and your engine doesn't like it. There is programs out there that you can pull up and actually build one of these from scratch. So if this doesn't work for you, maybe look at doing one of those. But let's get back into this other muffler. So these mufflers work on a different principle. Um, it basically uses your gas pressure to cause more, um, more performance. So you're familiar with like, uh, you don't know, I don't know, like uh, setting off fireworks or anything like that. Uh, when you ignite, you release a lot of gas pressure and you know, that gas has to go somewhere. Well, this is meant to capture that pressure. Um, the design of it being a straight out pipe like this, this is actually important in the design. Uh, you can't come out to a can and think it'll work. It, uh, it, it's completely different. You see, as the explosion happens and all that gas comes out here and it starts expanding, some of it comes out the pipe, but a lot of it is going to bounce back off of this and create a lot of pressure inside of here. And as it does, if you get the size of this just right, it'll push all that pressure back in to the cylinder, causing you a great increase in uh, compression, which will give you more torque. If it's not the right size, the bounce back and you know the buildup of pressure, it might try coming in too soon. And what I mean by too soon is you're, if your transfers are still open when that happens, it's going to shut your fuel charge off coming up to the top you know, of the engine and uh, it'll shut that off too early and cause you to lose some performance so you got to have it just at the right length for it to affect you now if you have it too long it'll it'll still help but it will it won't give you as much of a boost so there's like this sweet spot that you got to get it set up for and the rpm affects all of this you see as the rpm increases um think of your duration of like how long your transfers are open but then think of it on a like a like on a like on a clock um like the hands of a clock 
So the higher the RPMs go, the less time they are open. Now think about that. I'm talking time as, as in like the seconds, you know, less it's, it's open for less milliseconds of time for, you know, as your RPMs increase, which will also affect on how you need to build this. Um, so there's a lot of things that kind of change when how this is done. And that's one of the things that Iron Horse did is he really played with these a lot and kind of he moved this guy around back and forth and, and all sorts of stuff to figure out where everything should be placed for the best performance. And that's kind of what you see here. Um, this is basically my version of his muffler, except mine is way uglier. Yeah, I mean, it, this thing is wretched. This is me going at it with a stick welder, not having the right stick stick welding rod and everything. So this this was this one sucked the build. I'll, I'll just be straightforward. This this one really sucked the build. I need to get the right welding rod. But you know what? It's so ugly, it's gonna be a conversation piece. So I'm gonna leave it, you know? We'll get a good laugh out of it, you know? Anytime somebody looks at this and be like, wow, that's ugly. You know what? That yes, it is, but it'll it'll strike up conversation, you know. So then I'm going to go ahead and leave it. But I figured you guys might like a little explanation of how these work. See, if this was just a big can, as the gas pressure comes out and it builds up pressure, it's not going to push back into the cylinder as efficiently as what this will, because you know if you got a big volume of can here, and you know you're. you're as the pressure increases and stuff, the pressure pushes out evenly over all of the space. Where this thing, being this shape and designed like this, all that pressure that's built up is gonna be focused back in to the cylinder. And that's why this design works so well. It's the way it's shaped and everything. It really is meant to focus that charge to push right back against the engine. Um, I'm working on one of these for the 925. Uh, me and another gentleman so we will be looking at some progress on that I don't know if it'll be done before Sawfest but you know the 925 is going to get one of these I actually think the 925 might substantially increase in power if I can get one of these figured out and built for it so that I think that I think this might actually be what the 925 is missing uh, to get it running as well as it should if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a Homelite Super XL 925 that I poured it up pretty extreme um, to the point where, you know, it's it don't have quite enough torque. I, I kind of raised the, uh, the roof a little too far and it don't have enough torque. So we're looking at putting a muffler like this on it to help increase the torque of the saw. And this muffler made such a big difference to this saw, I'm pretty certain when I get it figured out on the 925, it'll help a lot. Um, it's gonna take a few videos on that 925 to figure out exactly how to build it, um, you know, but we'll get it, we'll figure it out. Uh, it's one of those trial and error things, we gotta figure out the exact dimensions and everything to get it to form, perform as well as we possibly could. So, I just wanted to do a little video about this muffler. Um, having them exhaust gases uh, focused directly into the cylinder really do help a lot with the torque of a saw. Uh, a wide open exhaust, sure, you can get some RPM out of them, but if you really want to put, put if, but if you really want to make a difference in the cut, you need torque, and torque is what this muffler is all about. So. All right, so I hope that made sense to you. Uh, you know, a little bit in the design of things can go a long way with helping performance. Uh, it takes a lot of trial and error to get them just right. So you gotta have a lot of patience. You gotta be willing to get in there and do some of the hard things over and over and over again in order to get it just right. But you know, it's worth it in the end. Now go ahead and post a comment and tell me how ugly it looks. I'm just fine with that. I know she's ugly and I'm gonna leave it like it because sometimes ugly is beautiful, right? So, hey, we'll catch you on the next one. Later. <laughs>